I'm back with the Snow White hair tutorial. Here's what you'll need if you want to do Snow White hair. This one's pretty simple. You're gonna need a comb, you're gonna need lots of bobby pins, and you're gonna need a ribbon. Preferably red. Mine's not red. It's also not a ribbon, it's a lanyard that I can wear because I'm a pork punch. Anyway, this will work. Anything you can find that is ribbon-like will work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to get the ribbon ready. So what you want to do is you want to find about the middle and then you're going to make two little loops, which are going to be the two sides of the bow, and you're going to tie them together. pretty bow. You might have to kind of finagle it to get them to lay down properly and directly across from each other and all that fun stuff. But anyway, you want a nice pretty even bow close to the middle of your ribbon which preferably should be a little bit longer than mine. Anyway, so we're going to put that aside for now. And you want to make sure you have a nice center part because we want this to be symmetrical. The ribbon won't be symmetrical, but the hair will be. So once you have a nice center part, you want to take the front sections, not too thick, I've got about this much in my head, and you want to just kind of leave these forward for now. If it helps, you can pin them. Then you're going to take your ribbon, and if it's longer than mine, and you can tie it, what you're going to do is you're going to start it here, you're going to put it behind the front sections and behind your ears, and then you're going to it behind your head. Mine's not long enough to tie, so I'm just going to have to kind of hold it there and I'll pin it in place. So once you've got that, you can either have your bow centered or to the side. Snow White in the movie has it to the side. So this is the fun part. You've got your ribbon, you've got your back hair, and you've got your front hair. So your back hair basically, if it's long like mine, if it's any longer than a bob, which is what Snow White has, you're going to have to make it look shorter than it actually is. So the way that you do this is you take sections, and you kind of fold it in half, and then fold it in half again if you need to, and then pin it. So essentially what we're doing is we're folding our hair, or rolling it kind of, in on itself. And I'm actually going to take my ribbon off for right now and I'll add it back in after. So you want to do that with everything except your two front sections. So you want to fold and fold. And you want to try to keep your pins as underneath as possible. for this, you want to kind of do it around the ribbon so that you're hiding the bottom part of the ribbon. My ribbon's not long enough to be tied. Now I'm going to put my ribbon back on. Theoretically, I would have had it on the whole time. these front sections to kind of hide where my ribbon goes into the sweater. So I'm going to kind of spread it out 
and then bring it back across here and just hide the rest of that and then created this nice twisted under look where it's sort of ambiguous how long my hair actually is. And you can use as many bobby pins or as much hairspray as you need to for this. But basically the idea is that you want your ribbon with your bow and then front part kind of covering the ribbon and the ribbon goes into this nice tucked in twisted under back which then gives it this sort of ambiguous, wavy bob type thing that Snow White has. And there you have it. Wasn't that hard. You can set it with tons of hairspray if you're going to need it to be in for a, long, a while. Or you can just use lots and lots of bobby pins. Whatever you want. It's up to you. Okay.